Okay, so this is getting into some more interesting tactics. Oh, there's the vault receipts. You can prove the Yeezys are real in case anybody questions that shit. Oh. Yeah, because you know how like, people like to question my YouTube channel. The Vault, Memphis, Tennessee, 38117. I'm surprised you won, you bitches. So there's a whole bunch of pussies in your motherfucker. Anyway, Dirty <laughs> Ruffles. Why? Okay, so, help me out here. You do the honors. You don't understand pain. What you think about them? Comfort wise, I like it a lot better than the V1s. Super fucking comfortable shoe. I've got a pair I wear all the time. This is a. I've just tried this pair on and worn it for pics. It's not you can't really tell it's worn. But uh, I really fuck with it comfort wise. Look wise, I like the version ones better. Version one for sure. What do you think, Tim? I ain't gonna stunt. I ain't never had pair use. So I mean, I really don't know. I don't know, like my favorite Yeezy is the pair of black Yeezy. And from what I have seen, this does have a lot of thick padding, like back here around the ankle. I guess they didn't have it at first. But what, what was the whole difference between this and the, the uh, you know, you had the pair of black and they came out with a pair of black like 2.0 or something. Yeah, the only like difference that. between 2.0 and 2.1 was 2.0 had a little bit more padding. Okay. They're basically the same fucking shoe. I don't know, man. I kind of like it. To me, I ain't gonna stunt. Just keep it at 100. This is an ugly ass fucking shoe, though. Like, this, I'm saying, like, this color, like, I fuck with 350s, but to me, this color is not, is not it for me. I couldn't, I couldn't rock it. I couldn't rock it at all. Now, the, the three pairs that released on Black Friday, I believe I, I can mess with them, but these, I can't. Which one are you trying to cop on for the Black Friday? Let me see, because there's like a black and copper one, a black and olive green, and I want to say like a black and uh, kind of like an infrared a little bit of those. I definitely have to say black and copper. Black and infrared would be like my least favorite, but black and copper would most definitely be. Now, would you would you pay resale, or are you just going to try and cop for? Retail. Retail only. No resale, gang. I cannot pay. Uh, I cannot pay. What's this? Seven? Eight hundred dollars? He's around seven right now. I think... I think they'll go up being the first V2. I think you should cop these now while you can because I think price is going to skyrocket on these. I think these will end up sitting around 1.1 in a few months. I could be wrong, but I think the price on these is going to go up. What do you think? I don't know. Like I said, that's why I got you here, honestly, because I'm not, I like Adidas, but as far as the Yeezy, the Yeezy thing, I'm not just, I'm not too big on it, so I don't know. I don't want to sound like a hype beast and be okay. coming up with some fuck shit that I don't know nothing about. Cause as we can see back here in the people, my closet. Let's move on to uh, what was this, Matt? Yesterday's release. Uh, Saturday's release, yeah. Yeah, Saturday's, Saturday's release. And it was Saturdays for a lot of people. Saturdays. We got a Yeezy Boost 750, nine and a half. The uh, chocolate colorway. Light brown, light brown gum three. I'm trying to figure out, man, which one would be the color code. Would it be that BY2456? I'm not going to front like I fucking know. I'm not even going to fake it. <laughs> it's a little extra, but I guess if I'm paying $350 for a pair of fucking shoes, they better give me a nice box. Oh, no, man. It's going to be a wavy shoes. Man. All right, Joe. So. Yeah, right though. What's going on? Can you hear me, hear me out? Can you hear me out? You got dust bags. Does, it, does this make this shoe worth three hundred and fifty dollars retail? Nah, what but I mean, what, what is this material on those dust bags? That's some laundry bag material right there. Oh, it's two dust bags. Yeah. Oh shit! I thought it was one. Ah <laughs> oh, damn! Right there, but okay, two dust bags. Okay. You got your Adidas Boost paper. Then you're, if you've had any pair of Yeezys, I'm pretty sure this is the same paper as the first ones too. And then you got your 750 Yeezy Boost. 
Gum song. Shit, do the receipts earlier. As you see, when you get them, you're gonna have the cardboard insert, and then there's some paper in the front. This pair is DS. DS, never been tried on. So, Tomb Griffey, this, what do you think about this? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't even know how I would fucking wear that. <laughs> like, I have not the slightest idea, like, I'll bullshit aside. If you was to tell me to try this on right now, I'll probably look at you crazy. Cause I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I know we've gone to different fashion, you know what I'm saying? Culture wise and stuff like that. But I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm still thinking three fifties all day over seven fifties, over nine fifties, but I mean, like I said, if I had to pick a 750, the only 750 I would call would be the all black 750. Like, I fuck with that. That's it. That's See, it. For me, this shoe is more, again, a retail cop would not pay resale for it in any way, shape, or form. To me, obviously, like, Toon, my guy obviously loves Jordans because he likes Michael Jordan. Like, he's a fucking Jordan fan. Yeah. Me, I'm a pretty big fan of Kanye. Not in a hype beast way. I love his music. I love everything about him. So if he releases this shoe, I'm going to get it. Me personally, I tried to rock these the other day, or my other pair, and I look like an idiot. Unless you're wearing <laughs> super tight jeans, or you got some tights on, this probably isn't the shoe for me. For me, this is more of a collector's piece. Maybe one day I'll pull it out, but for the moment, this is gonna be sitting in the closet. That's crazy. So how many pairs do you get, or is that undisclosed information that we don't wanna talk about? I got a few, and if you're looking for any pairs, I got them on bluffcitysouls.com. Okay, well, big, big. So, uh, so what, joggers? Skinny jeans and... And when I say skinny, I don't mean like skinny jeans. Cause my man right here, he wears some tapered jeans. I mean the skin tight jeans. You're not, <laughs> you're not pulling these off unless you got your girl's jeans on. Oh, no man. hate on nobody, but you got to be flexing like young thug. Dude. All right. So quality wise, do you think like it's really worth... Now quality wise, is it worth retail and is it worth resale? Truthfully, though, this suede on here is butter. Like you, you can't... I cannot hate on this suede. It's better than Jordan suede for sure. Yeah, I, I really, really messed with the suede on the shoe. I think it's worth retail, for sure. Is it worth resale? I like it a lot better than the other 750 drop, the uh, glow-in-the-dark ones. No. The material on these is a lot better. I, look at that, man. The yeah, suede man. You can, when you when you brush it, you can do, you can tell, like, instantly. Like, you can tell off top. The stitching's really good on these pairs. I've seen some pairs that sucked ass. No. Stitching's good. The only big issue to me is they still stuck with these, the YKK zippers. I've had zippers break on my other 750s. I wish they would go to a different brand, but it's cool. Like I said, it's a really cool shoe to look at construction wise and whatnot. Rocking though is a totally different story. That's crazy. And these do not glow in the dark like the other ones. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people debate saying that, the, uh, that they glue in the dark or whatever. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, man, I ain't just too big on Yeezys. I had to call, I had to call the kid in here because he got uh, more knowledge. But uh, not gonna lie, man, I don't know how you feel, but uh, Yeezy didn't jump over no fucking jump, man. I'm hey. sorry. Ain't <laughs> nowhere the fuck, cause I'm taking Dread Ones over Yeezy. 350, 750, or whatever any day. Damn. But I'm just even over Dread Ones over Pirate Blacks. Bread ones over pirate blacks, bro. Comment <laughs> below, bread, bread ones or pirate blacks. I'm just saying, man, bread ones. I mean, I go basically off of iconic history. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I want to even start now. I am, I am gonna give Adidas this. Comfortability wise, they killing the game right now. Agreed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flex on that. Like I said, I tried on those NMDs and those Ultra Boosters, and yeah, that was that was crazy. That was that was wild as shit. But I mean, I don't know, man. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. I'm not mad at it or anything. I just don't see, I just don't see a thousand dollars. Then I see it, but then again, like I don't see. It's the power so supply, of Kanye. Though. So supply and demand. Yeah, man. It's if the this, power of Kanye. if this sat on shelves, I mean, if this was like mass produced like a jordan one or something like that it would still sell out if they just if they put the right numbers on it i feel like it would sit with just about anything else sure. let's be honest it looks like a men's ugly 
That is fact. I will not deny that at all. It really does. I think that once well. they start really mass producing them, they're going to start to drop. But from what I've heard, this is the last 750 model. So if you guys are looking for a pair, though, I would cop now. You can probably get around 800 price range right now. But I promise on these, I may be wrong about the 350s going up, but these will go up for sure. These are going to sit at about 1.2. So I'd cop now while they're low, fellas. You can probably get them for around 8 right now. Yeah, because I think I seen them on the Go app for like starting off at like 8 or like 9 or whatever. I would cop those ASAP, folks. Yeah, because uh, if it's true what you say, that this is the last 750, yeah, you might want to hurry up and get up on the box. So does all prices of all of the other 750s going to go up or will it just be? I, I know. One? I think the gums, I think will stay around where they are. There was a shit ton of gums. There was less of these. I think black prices will go up because a lot of people are starting to beat theirs in the suede. And the original pair, the uh, elephant color, yeah. is up to already 4500 on Flight Club right now. Mm -hmm. So I don't really think there's too much growth for those. But I think these... At some point, we'll get up there in that range. I think these will be the second highest priced ones in the long run. Adidas, right now. Adidas Yeezys versus Nike Yeezys, who take it? I mean, that's not, you even, got, a that's you not got, even a question. That's not even a question. Because you get the Nike Yeezys. You got, what, Yeezy ones? Yeah, Yeezy ones. Zen. Yeezy ones, Zen joints. But you're not you're not beating Nike Yeezy 2s. No one, nothing will ever beat that shoe, I don't think. At all. Period. I, I don't know about Tune, but that's my grill. I don't, I'll never have a pair, probably, but they're dope as hell to me. Man, man, you like what you like. But anyway, man, this has been your boy Tone Griff doing a review with the homie Mad XLs. Give him a follow. If you're not already following me, he has like 63,000 fucking followers or something. Fucking poop. But anyway, it's been nothing, man. We out.